What up, Link Gang? Man, it's your boy, Link TV. Today, I'm coming to get y'all with another video. And today, we finna get into, as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title, I'm finna show y'all how to I shape my beret as a paratrooper. And everybody has their own style. Everybody has their own way they like it. And everybody does it differently. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, there's a certain way you're supposed to wear it in AR 68-1. So, I advise you to wear it like that. But I usually don't wear it like that, and a lot of people don't usually wear it like that. But it depends on your command and um, where you're at. Most units want you to wear it according to AR 67-1. But a lot of people usually don't say nothing, especially in the airborne unit. So if you're in the airborne unit, you should be fine. But if you're in a leg unit and you have to wear your beret one day for like a ceremony or whatever, I don't know what they're going to say. So, but this is how I do it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you like the content, drop a comment on what kind of videos you want in the future. And I got a, a day in the life of a jump on Wednesday next week so stay tuned for that and we're gonna get right to the video man and i'm like squatting because my ankle, i'm on my phone right now so it's kind of hard to get a good angle and stand up at the same time so i'm gonna be doing this on the floor but i'm about to get it wet with some hot water right now and i'm not gonna get that on camera because i don't want to be too loud but yeah i'm gonna get this wet with some hot water that'll be right back with y'all show y'all how i shake my brain me personally how i do it i don't know if you're gonna like it i don't know if it's the good way to do it just let me know if you got any ideas of what i should do and how i should do it but this is how i do it personally yeah but stay tuned That's about some ass. Sunny niggas deep nap. That new drip. Shoot a pop out with the pool stick. F and then Drake. Alright, I'm back. Let's go. So, this is hot water. It helps it form to your head better. To bring it out. Let's ring out a little bit. I'm gonna put it on. Okay. Let me just use this mirror. My phone. Just put it on. This is supposed to be like a real left eyebrow, but I just usually put it where it falls. I'm gonna pull it, everything else to the side. Like that is a little flap over the flash. Yeah. Technically, you're not supposed to cover your eye, but you know, I let go. Who cares? You want to get as smooth as possible on the top. So you want to keep it, I'm going to keep going over it so it's smooth on the top like that. Just keep bringing this down. You want to tighten the back like this. You like a knot in the back. So I'm in the knot. So I'm in a knot in the back. And that's pretty much how it looks. The flash over the left eyebrow. And everything else straight to the side. Technically, this is not in our court. This is not in regulation with VR 1 Because this is not supposed to cover the eye. And this is supposed to be parallel with the motion surface. It's kind of parallel with the motion surface. So I decided paratroopers usually wear it. Is how I wear mine. I'm not the standard, nor am I the beret guy. I'm new to the airborne unit. I've been airborne in two years, so yeah. Yep, that quick. And then after you let it sit in your hair for like 10 minutes, you get a heavy book or a, something heavy, a weight, a book, a refrigerator, a microwave and you fold it up and you set that on top of it and let it dry up and it'll 
form it's perfectly like this and it'll stay for life let me know how y'all like it this is how i work mine let me know how y'all like it man let me know if y'all got any tips and tricks in the comments if y'all like where y'all different yeah This is personal preference, so this is how I wear mine, me. So if you don't like it like this, you don't gotta do it like this. This is how I do mine. And then I hold it on my head for like 10 minutes. Just keep doing this so it's as light as possible to talk, no wrinkles. And you can hold this like this if you want to, and just put this little flap over your eye. And like this, like that, like that. Like fold over the last. Yeah, that's how I do it. Let me know if you like it. And you can do this if you got a red beret, tan beret, green beret, blue beret. Or is it black? I think it's black. So black, tan, brown, red sad, <coughs> red, <coughs> green, tan, whatever. Whatever color beret you got, this is how you can do it. No matter the color. And if you want a leg unit, they're gonna be like, damn, who told you to do a beret like that? You know what I'm saying? I mean, y'all leg unit people be having some ugly ass berets. I like that as a little, I like that as a little scoop right here, like this. See, I like that a little, little divot right there. And I like that as like kind of down. Like I don't like to have like straight up like that. That's ugly. I like to have it kind of down like that, which is out of regulation too. But in airborne units, they usually don't care. So like this. And that's how you do it. You can't see shit out this eye, but it don't matter because it's grippy. You don't need to see. You just sound like grippy, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. <clears throat> Hope you like the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you got any questions. And that's how I form my braid. And we're going to let this dry up a little bit. And I'm going to put a heavy book on it. We're going to let it sit out overnight. And tomorrow's going to be perfect. <clears throat> so drop a follow. Drop a sub if you're new. And if you got any questions, let me down below. And link game. Stay tuned for more videos. I got a, a day in the life of a jump on Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. And let's go.